Stop. Don't scroll. We're going to talk about something interesting. Let's talk about the TikTok ban. Okay. Do I have your attention now? I have not addressed it before. Let's talk about the TikTok ban. I've been out of the country on a missionary trip. We went to five or six different countries after after four. I, I lost count. But I'm back, and that's everybody, all everybody wants to talk about. That's all I'm hearing is the TikTok ban, the TikTok ban. Brother Mike, Mike Dial, what do you think about it? Well, look, I'm not a politician, all right? I'm a preacher. And so I'm going to leave the politic into Washington. But let me talk to you about the TikTok ban from the point of view of a preacher, from the point of view of an evangelist. In 40 years, I have been preaching this gospel. 40 years. 40 years. Day and night, I have been preaching this gospel. And in those 40 years, I have never been given such an awesome, amazing platform as TikTok to preach the gospel. I mean, before I could go into a church and maybe it said 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 people. And I, I could preach and reach those people and have a great time and have a revival and have a, a move of God. But now, when we preach over TikTok, sometimes the videos reach 10,000 people. Other times, 100,000 people watch. Hundreds of thousands of people, praise God, glory to God. It's not Mike Dial, it's Jesus Christ. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And this platform is the most amazing platform to reach men, women, boys, girls, teenagers, and young professionals with the gospel that I have ever encountered in my entire life. Now that says something. Should we ban that? Should we ban free speech? Should we ban the preaching of the gospel? No. I come out against the ban from my point of view as a preacher because TikTok is cost effective. TikTok is free media. TikTok is what you make of it. It doesn't allow nudity. It doesn't allow pornography. It doesn't allow X-rated content. You can use it clean and you can use it for church. You can use it to spread the gospel and expand the kingdom of God. So my answer to that is there may be parts of TikTok that people get hooked on, addicted to. They may spend more time on it than they should. It may become an idol. All right, you have to do that. That's between you and God. But as far as banning it, look, here's my, here's my take. Y'all know I'm not a fan of social media in general. Y'all know my position on screen time versus scripture time. But I also believe in the First Amendment, the freedom of speech and the freedom of assembly and the freedom of religion. So if you, if Congress, in all their so-called wisdom, thinks TikTok is a threat because of its Chinese ownership, huh, then I think the only fair thing to do, if you're gonna target TikTok, you have to target all other social media. In my opinion, Strictly my opinion, Facebook is a greater threat to the U.S. national security than TikTok ever will be. And so is Twitter. And so is Instagram. So, or, or YouTube. I don't believe you can single out one company. Personally, I believe that's racism. Xenophobia. It's racism against Asian people. And I think that's a sin. Racism is a sin. Racists are sinners. You can't just target one. I believe that the platform is there to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So if we keep it clean, if we don't sit on it, if we're not using social media to hook up, amen, to watch porn, if we're using it to witness to people about Jesus and love people and teach the word of God and preach the word of God, I mean, look, God has blessed me. Last time I counted with 87,500 and counting followers. Praise God. And that's just on my main profile. There's a backup profile for Evangelist Mike Dial that I don't control, but it has another 13,000 followers. 
And if you add the other social media, my followers now are well over 100,000 people. Now, that's a big church. Hallelujah. That's my TikTok flock. Glory to God. And I'm the shepherd, and I love my followers, and I don't want them to be taken away from me. So listen, Congress. If you ban TikTok, you're a con, C-O-N. We have other things to worry about that are threats to America's national security. TikTok is not one of them. So let me say at the top of my lungs, as loud as I can say it for everybody to hear, I oppose the TikTok ban. I oppose the outright TikTok ban. I oppose the government forcing TikTok to sell. I believe that private enterprise and free enterprise should be allowed to flow unrestricted, unhindered. I do not believe in censorship. I do not believe the government has the right to do this. There are other things that should be banned before TikTok. So from the open road, my life is like Willie Nelson, man. On the road again. <laughs> On the road again, on the open road. This is Evangelist Mike Dial reminding you that Jesus is still your answer. Amen and amen. God bless you today.